and that's where everybody is sort of gathering right now. A lot of media out here, of course, trying to get information confirmed, some you know reports getting out there so parents know exactly what's going on, but definitely still a sense of urgency out here. You know, parents wanting to know exactly what happened. How did this person get inside the school? Those are all questions people are wanting to get answered now. And Liz, describe for us again the process of how parents can be reunited with their with their children. Audrey Washington had, had described there being a roster. Right, so what happened was when this all happened, the school is just right up the street here. So what the teachers did is once they secured that scene, they brought the children down to the fire department. So what's happening inside now is the kids are gathering there. They have lists of the names. Parents need to make sure they bring proper photo ID because as you can imagine, there are hundreds of kids here, hundreds of parents here. It's sort of a mad scene inside of that fire department. They're just trying to keep it as orderly as possible. So parents just need to make sure they're nice and prepared so when they get down down here, everyone stays calm, but that's really the best key advice people need to know about right now. Bring that photo ID when you're trying to grab your child here because most of them are staying safe inside the fire department right now. Liz, have you heard anything about the shooter? We have confirmation that, that a shooter is dead and two handguns were recovered, but is there any sense that the shooter is associated with the school in any way? No, I can't. I can't say that. Uh, the parents that I've spoken to have said that this was a masked gunman. That's what they had heard. So difficult to obviously see that person's identity and understand whether or not they were at all connected to the school. But we did hear that the principal was the one targeted in this shooting. But again, none of that confirmed. That's just from talking to parents out here in the street. But you guys understand when it's a tense situation like this, people hear things. None of it's been confirmed by police just yet. So we don't want to cause any sort of panic in that sense. But unconfirmed right now exactly what the connection was with the shooter to the school, but we are hearing that the principal was the target in this shooting. Okay, Liz Dollum, who's been on the scene for us almost since this happened, our eyes and ears out there, thank you very much for your perspective. We want to go now to Kai Simonson. He's flying high above the scene here. He's going to give us an aerial perspective. Kai, can you hear us?